Hi Wanderers! Welcome to Vlogmas! This is... What we did this week! Every Saturday we're going to be recapping what we did over the previous week. Come see how our life goes. It's your birthday! No it's not. How old are you? I'm 12. It's your... Okay then don't get the birthday ice cream. Well, I'm 13! He's gonna be 13 in the morning and that's Thanksgiving, so we're celebrating tonight. What is it called? Oh God, here we go. A very special guest in the house tonight. Tonight is Wesley's birthday. Woo. So we'd like to celebrate the on the border style. Uno, dos, chase. Two. Today's Wesley's birthday. We need to say hey. Happy, happy birthday. The on the border with Ole. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's Wesley's birthday. He's officially a teenager. And we're about to wake him up. I'm not you better get clothes on. Happy birthday! <laughs> yay, yay! I won the race to be a teenager. The teenage platypus. How does it feel to be 13? I mean, I don't really feel anything special. I mean, you feel tired, I'm sure. I, I do feel tired, just a little. Okay, so I know it's Thanksgiving, which we already said, but it's also Wesley's birthday, and we have a little tradition that we do in our house on the boys' birthdays. We started it when each one of them was two, well, three, because when they're one and two, they're kind of too little to do it. So, here it is. They put on their daddy's uniform, and slowly they grow into it. Let me see how it looks. Wow, you're 13 and it, your hands come out the sleeves. Did they never used to do that? Well, they haven't done that in a long time. Well, I mean, uh, they, my fingers poke out. Listen, like the first out. time you put it on, you were three years old. I was and it, the hat went over my head. And it touched the floor. So I'm going to put those pictures up here so you guys can see. The first time he did it, he was three, and now he's 13. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Today is decoration day and we just have a little bit of snow. <laughs> we just have a little bit of snow. So we're coming out here before the blizzard hits to get our Christmas stuff. Well, my mother put up decoration number one today and that is our wreath from a movie that is our Christmas movie. And it's called A Christmas Story. Right. It's wet. It's really wet. Anyway, uh, the wind is starting to blow. Mama and I are going to be making a... Um, we're going to be making a Christmas tree. A little small one following a pattern... Or following a YouTube video that we saw somebody make. So, I will see about linking to hers. Or I'll at least have it in the... In the description of this video but anyway I don't want this to take up the whole entire weekly vlog so I've come out here to this little tree by our house and I'm going to take some extra things off of here that we could put in the tree and then we'll go back in and get going I uh, don't want it to and then I'll just cut it down and show you the final final part of it but step one is that we're gonna cut these off and take them inside and we're going to uh, put them in the fake tree and then we're gonna spray paint kind of anyway you'll just see it when it's all done we just wanted a little extra tree because we're having a real tree this year for the first time so we'll see what happens so here is our little tree that we worked on and we sprayed it white last night and then we added everything else today <laughs> these the best part to me is that this right here is swiffer swiffer pads that are cut up and look like snowy garland 
and it is adorable and everything came from the Dollar General and I will link the video so that you can go see what she did and copy her just like we did. So uh, we're doing some filming today on Black Friday because right. the weather is too bad to go out and shop or and who wants to do that anymore? Anyway? I don't like to ice skate in my so van. It's we're a filming. bad look. We're filming. Yeah. All the it's right just on now. your face and then I'm going to pan down so you can bring it up some. Okay. So we're about to start decorating for Christmas. And so we pull out the greatest Christmas movie known to man because now it has unlimited play potential until Christmas Day. I wanted to be able to record the snow has started and I wanted to get the dogs because they were going to go outside. And there they are. <laughs> All three of them out there in the snow, they're getting ready to go to bed. But they seem to be doing fine. You can't see much past there because there's not a lot enough light, but there's the all the dogs, they didn't go very far. But they went to the bathroom, and then there's some street lights down there. The road is covered in snow. The interstate is closed on both sides of the city. So, you're not allowed to leave the city. <laughs> um, and we're all just settling in for a nice, nice day. Happy Black Friday. Amanda, look at this. Amanda! What? Look at this. Oh. Alright, so it's noon on Saturday, and we've already had the power go out a couple different times, so hopefully it'll stay on the rest of the day, um, because we got Christmas decorating to do later. I was about to say, oh, can I eat some snow? We've got our boxes open, our fire going. And look who I found, who I found sitting right on top of the Christmas tree skirt. Really? Okay, the boys are all bundled up and they're going to go play outside. Wesley's trying to climb over it. It is up to his waist. <laughs> he fell over by the fence. Corner house. Yeah. And piles up. That's what I was thinking.
Here you go, y'all make it some snow ice cream. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. But you've got plenty. Well, we've done a lot. Now look at my hair. We've cleared out a lot of space. Our little Razorback is here to cheer everybody on while we work. And the boys are working on the sidewalk, getting the sidewalk cleared. And Ron is getting his car cleared. I'm gonna go finish helping him. We have an extra shovel today because the people who got stuck last night outside our house <laughs> left their snow shovel. So we're using it until they come back and pick it up. And they should be coming anytime because now the roads are clear enough that people can drive. So where will we go today? I just love the way the snow ends up looking like sand or something after all the wind has quit blowing it everywhere. That's a very tall snow drift. Do you see? Well, the snow plow came by today and covered up what we spent a lot of time shoveling out yesterday. Pushed up a whole lot more snow. It just makes you want to wait until Everything's cleared out before you even try to go anywhere because they just push it right back over. Oh well. My daddy had never snow shoveled before he came for this visit and now he's done it a lot. He said it was about the same as shoveling dirt. <laughs> we decided to take advantage of the snow and make some ice cream. Although you're gonna have to explain it to us how you make it. Snow, Eagle Brain condensed milk, and some vanilla. That's literally all it is. How much snow? Huh. Eight to twelve cups. So I guess we'll just see how it does. Yeah. And the snow ice cream is done? Yep. Taste <laughs> like mashed potatoes, yeah. Cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's really it's cold. cold. Ice cream, man. <laughs> it doesn't taste a ton like it, it. It tastes a lot more like the natural vanilla flavor. Oh, yes. Because they use natural vanilla, I'm sure. Okay, press. Who's? I mean, because it's, it's your toy. Yeah. It, it is. is. You can take the spoon from my hand. Is it cold? Yeah. I know. It is like eating pure snow. If you got sensitive snow. teeth, that will do you in. It's like eating pure snow, but the snow is vanilla. Did you taste it, Mom? No. Yeah, you should taste it. Taste bowl? It. It's just ice cream. It's vanilla and condensed milk and ice. It's not that complicated. Mmm. Now, do you want a bowl? That's good. I want a bowl. <laughs> okay, so I'm back from my one mile run for the day and um we're gonna color my hair so let's go well it looks really light i'm about to go rinse it off and then we will see what the final color is well not the final color but Okay, two things. Yes, I'm in my closet. <laughs> Let me try a turn. Well, I don't know how to turn. <laughs> anyway, yes, I'm in my closet. And number two, my hair is definitely a different color. Um, I like it. I think it's still just a little too early for me to tell. Okay, you didn't come here for the hair though. So today was my first day of subbing at the school in a, on a permanent basis for the whole month I'm going to be subbing at the school. So today was the first day for that. And 
Not much else happened today, except Ron and Price went to a scout meeting that they had, and Wesley went to play practice. He is going to be in the play A Christmas Carol, which you'll see clips of that coming up in a couple of weeks when it happens. And that's really it. That's all that happened today. So, not a lot of video, but we're glad you're here, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'm off to my second day of school. Um, I'm actually at the end of my road sitting in a long line of traffic because there's a random train that is blocking the road. I have a dilemma. I could back up and go a different way. Well, I don't know that I could back up. I'm kind of boxed in here, but I could figure out how to turn around and go out of here or I could just sit in this traffic but this train is not moving at all and I don't know why I can see the front of it and it doesn't look like there's anything wrong so why during what amounts to rush hour for us would there just randomly be a train stopping and blocking all of this traffic there are multiple school buses behind me that can't get their kids to school either because we're all sitting in this traffic. There are some cars I see trying to take a side street and go around, but I really don't even know how to do that. Oh well, happy Wednesday. So, spoiler alert, I got out of the traffic by following another car to school and just getting there a different way which I didn't even know there was a different way to get there. Anyway, um, then not much happened on Wednesday. Wesley continues to have play practice every night, and Wednesday night is date night, so Ron and I went out. I keep forgetting the camera to video things during the week. It's easier on the weekends or when we go do an activity because I'm used to videoing those, but like keeping up with the daily things that we do is difficult. So today is the last day of the vlog for this week, and I'm really glad that you stuck with us this week. Wesley has play practice again tonight, which we're not videoing, but we will video some when he's in the actual play, which is next weekend, I think. Or it starts next weekend. Anyway, um, we are going to be doing more Christmas decorating coming up this week. We're gonna go cut our tree down, and we've got some gingerbread houses to build in a competition with each other. I hope I win. Anyway, um, it's been a really great, it's been a really great first week of Vlogmas, and we had to say goodbye to my parents, which was the worst part, but they had a safe trip back home, and I had so much fun filming the Tasty Tuesday videos with my mother. If you haven't seen the rest of our Vlogmas videos, they are in a playlist, so I will link that here. And every time we do a new video, it'll just add to the playlist. Same playlist that this one's in also. And um, I hope that you like the categories that we picked for Vlogmas and that um, our vlogs are enjoyable to see like a little slice of what we're doing this year. So thanks for coming along. We'll talk to you later. Bye. So what we're doing now is uh, every year uh, there's a hashtag, hashtag RW Run Streak. Uh, Runners World sort of started it and, and they keep it going and so you run at least one mile a day from Thanksgiving to New Year's uh, and so Amanda and I are doing that uh, so we started that this morning uh, I'll show you I'll do a little video later with a calendar that, that somebody put out this year so you can mark that it's got little motivational sayings on that but just to keep you motivated through the holidays and it's helpful to keep you moving it'll be challenging for us uh, because in about two days we're expecting like a 12 to 20 inch uh, blizzard of snow so we'll figure out how we get a mile in on those days but it's just something to challenge ourselves and to keep us moving through the holidays day one day two lots of cold outside that's why I'm going to the gym I'm not so we decided to both come to the gym since we can't stand up outside yeah it's just ice skating rink Literally. I'm gonna video you from behind while you're walking in the Thanks. building. <laughs> I will do my best not to bust it. I'm gonna get some uh, my ice cream in this morning. <laughs>
<laughs> so this is what it looks like outside on the road. So we'll be running inside for day three. Okay, snow shoveling done. Yep. Mile starting now. Yep, be done in about 10 minutes. Day four. I'll be done in way longer than 10 minutes. Okay, I'm hot again because I shoveled snow. Now I'm going for my walk, one mile, day five. All right, so I was supposed to do this before, but I forgot. But came into the gym, day five of the Runners World Run Streak, done. Um, yes, my hair is a different color and I'm out here again to get my mile. Let's go, day six or five. I don't remember, but whatever, I'm doing it. All right, Run Streak, day seven done. I missed running yesterday. I didn't miss it. I just didn't do it. And now it's very cold out here today and I'm doing it, but I'm getting it done. One mile, day eight. Day eight. It could be seven, but I think it's eight. Day eight. Here we go.